also join me as we consciously allow our breath to deepen. Without effort, just allowing our awareness to gently allow the breath to fulfill its full breath and range of motion. And with each breath, we simply let go. We begin to allow this sweet, sweet presence to wash over us. And if we're aware enough, we'll begin to realize that with every breath, the pure, clear, diamond, opalescent light of spirit is sourcing you, flowing down through your crown chakra and flowing ever so gently with its perfection and its wholeness. And if you take a deep breath and allow it, it will ground you into Mother Earth. This infinite white opalescent diamond light, the very light that informed the life of one we call Jesus Christ, is the same light, the same love, the same spirit that's sourcing you every moment throughout all eternity. And so join me as you just perhaps imagine that light coming down through your crown chakra, bringing with it pure awareness Pure being, pure joy. And because we can, we simply allow this infinite divine presence to fill every cell, every thought, every feeling, bringing everything into harmony, into balance. And we allow the very spirit that raised up Christ Jesus to move through us this very day. And this light washes over you and fills the sphere of your soul that's so much greater than your body. This divine wholeness, life and light and love that we inform with our thought. <coughs> So today we allow our thoughts to be illumined. We invite the great healing grace of the divine to move through any emotions that are not in harmony, not in awareness of their perfection and pure being. And just allowing your breath to continue to flow and deepen. I invite you to bring your attention into your heart there as you breathe the awareness of this pure diamond opalescent light. Just allow yourself to begin to appreciate the gift of a human incarnation. The privilege of being present. The gift of waking up while the world around you is becoming aware that we're so much more. you appreciate and love from your heart, I invite you to turn up that rheostat because you can. And if you have not begun to consciously, intentionally love everyone that fills this sanctuary with you, turn that rheostat up now. The love that you are, the more you give, the more there is. It flows and expands with its shape. This love that knows no limit, that can only give, never tries to get, it can only get. I invite you to turn that rheostat up until this entire building is filled with the awareness and the grace and the pure presence of the divine. That anyone passing by on the street would feel a shock, an awareness, something wonderful is happening. Whether they have any awareness of this presence we call God or not. Everyone, everyone is sourced by the same light and love. And so I invite you now to amplify your love because you can and join the world. A world that we see if we look with the outer eyes looks like it's chaos and looks like it's trauma and looks like there's deep, deep sorrow. But there is a love and a light in every single one of us. 
and it is the pure light of consciousness and that's why I know that the world can wake up in a nanosecond. You know, Charles Fillmore said in 1911, there is no future tense in anything that Yeshua ben Joseph taught. Not one future tense, it is now. The kingdom of heaven is now. The grace of God is now. The world waking up is now. And you are the light. And for this human incarnation to come at such a time as this, to be a part of a great shift, a great change, greater than anything that humanity has ever yet seen. Just for a moment, bathe in that awareness by some amazing grace. By something so much greater than anything your human ego ever, ever could have believed or made of. This love that created us and called us into being calls us to stand now and bear witness that the light and the love of the infinite is in all people at all times. And I just invite you for a moment to sit in that awareness. To sit in that awareness that the divine has already created you whole and holy. That the King of Heaven is already appearing everywhere that love reigns and people live it. And for this grace, the grace upon grace upon grace. Would you join me in one big thank you, thank you, God. Thank you, thank you, God. And we let it go now. We simply allow our attention to come back into this room when we sung the Lord's Prayer and we begin once again to be the good news, to radiate a love so great that it takes us whatever our human journey is and turns it into love into heaven. And so it is.